Welcome to this demonstration of Pragmadev Process. Pragmadev Process is a simple yet powerful tool that aims at helping business process modelers to verify their models. It integrates a BPMN editor, executor and explorer. For this demonstration we will use a pizza delivery model, which is already loaded in Pragmadev Process. Let's start by opening the pizza BPMN model. The model consists in a BPMN collaboration between two participants. The customer makes an order and waits for its pizza to be delivered. If the delivery takes longer than 60 minutes, the customer will complain. The vendor contains three lanes describing the roles. The clerk for receiving orders and handling customer complaints. The chef prepares the pizza and the delivery boy delivers the pizza to the customer. Let's try to execute the model. Execution cannot start due to errors in the model. Let's see the details via a semantic check. There is a single error found in the model. It says that a BBMN receive task should have an incoming message flow attached. Double-clicking the error message will pinpoint the concerned element in the model. Indeed, the selected task sends the pizza order message, but it is a receive task instead of being a send task. Let's correct this error by changing the type of the task to send. The type can be changed by right-clicking the task and going to Properties. Then we can change the shape kind to message send task. Let's close the properties panel and save the diagram. Another semantic check should report no further errors. It is possible to record an execution scenario in a message sequence chart. So, before starting execution, let's start a recording. It is now time to execute the model. The model is executed interactively. That is, at every step of execution, the user decides which action should be performed next. An action can be the enabling or disabling of a sequence flow, the sending of a message, or the stepping in or over a process call activity. Only active elements marked in blue are ready to handle an action from the user. Here, only the starting sequence flow can be enabled. So, let's click on it. The pizza order message can now be sent. There is no other action for now, so let's click the message flow. Now we can either advance the customer process or the vendor process. Observe how the actions we perform are recorded in the trace. Let's proceed with the execution. At this point, we can either step in or step over the call activity deliver the pizza. Let's click on it to step in. The definition of the call activity is loaded and we can continue with the execution. So let's do that. Execution is finished. We can now save the recording. Element coverage information can be generated at any time during execution. Let's have a look. Expanding the tree will reveal the detailed information. This is the comprehensive list of all BPMN elements in the model and the number of times each element was executed. That completes the interactive execution session. We can stop execution and quit recording. A recording can be replayed. Before doing so, let's open the recording in the editor, 
change the value of the timer to 30 minutes and save it as a new recording. Let's replay a single recording. All available recordings are shown in a list. We can select the modified recording. The editor is opened in replay mode and execution is started. The recording can be replayed step by step or run till the end. A step will execute the starting sequence flow. Observe both recording and model execution being updated. The next step will send the message. Let's run the recording till the end. Replay will stop at the 30 minutes timer, complaining about a text mismatch. We identified an inconsistency between model and recording using the replay feature. We can now stop the replay and the model execution. It is also possible to replay multiple recordings. Let's try it. Several recordings can be selected by holding the Shift key and clicking on them. Now we can replay all selected recordings. When done, each recording will have a result associated to it. A fail indicates that inconsistencies were found between the recording and the model. Double-clicking a failed recording will open the recording in the editor. The element causing the issue will be selected in the recording and also in the BPMN model when possible. We can now close the replay dialog and the editor. Pragmadev process allows model exploration and property verification via the observer-based prover tool. First, let's try out exploration that is, execution of all possible scenarios of the model. For this, we run OBP, select Basic Exploration, and change the call activity definition to Do Not Consider. This option will always step over process call activities. Let's start exploration. It is possible to show all non-covered elements when model exploration is completed. Let's do that and quit OBP. All non-covered elements are marked in red. The presence of any non-covered element means that there are unreachable paths that may have been caused by a deadlock, for example. Indeed, stepping over the call activity resulted in a deadlock because the pizza message cannot be sent if the money message has not been received. The situation is reversed in the customer process, where the money message cannot be sent if the pizza message has not been received. However, this deadlock is not present when we step into the call activity, as was shown in the interactive step-by-step -step execution. Now, let's try to verify a property. First, we will create one. A property is defined using a property sequence chart, which is similar to the message sequence chart used for recording. Let's open and edit the property. The property says the following. Having the pizza order sent by the customer and received by the clerk, the customer must always receive the pizza sent by the delivery boy. Let's save the property and quit the editor. Time to run OBP again. We will select the property and leave the other options unchanged. The property was violated. When this happens, it is possible to investigate the issue by displaying the scenario that caused the violation. Let's do that. We can see that the pizza message was never sent. Indeed, it is possible for the customer to never receive the pizza and always complain. 
That is all for this short demonstration of Pragmadev process. Thank you for watching.